Now let's go back to sheet two. So option left arrow. And let's input data in rows five and six. So let's add some operating costs and just follow along with me and add this to your own files. And let's make operating costs 45, 55, 65, and 78. And let's calculate net profit as gross profit minus operating costs. Now remember, let's uh, shift right arrow and then command R to bring that formula over. And how can we um, apply the formatting as we did in this exercise to this row? We can use paste special. So we'll copy this row, command C, use our arrows to go down here, hit control command V to bring up the paste special dialog box, then T for formats and press enter. And then lastly, let's just bold this line. So I'm using my down arrow key and then shift command right to highlight that whole row and hit command B to bold. Now let's say I wanted to add a row below operating costs for non-operating costs. I'm going to go into any cell in the row below operating costs, so in row six, Highlight that cell by hitting shift spacebar and then press command shift plus key to insert a new row and a new row will appear. So let's add a new row and call that non operating costs. Notice here that I'm going to have to auto fit again and let's do 15 for every year. Now we need to update our net profit formula so that it recalculates the way that we want it to. So I'll do another subtraction and again, hit F2 so that I get unstuck and I'm in point mode. Then press enter, go back up, shift, command, right arrow. And I want to just copy that formula across without having to do it all over again. So I'm going to hit command R, and when you hit F2 in each of these uh, cells, then you will see that we have applied that formula to all of the cells here. So we just inserted a new row. Let's insert a new column for 2019. And to do that, we're going to select any cell in column C. And we can do that by hitting Control spacebar. And now we're going to insert a new column by hitting command shift plus. And now we have a new column in C, but you can see here that it is a much wider width than we want it to be because we want to add 2019 here. So we can actually use the paste special uh, function to paste not only um, the formatting that we've been using paste special for, but we can also copy the column width. So let's first copy the formatting. So I'm going to go over here, command shift down, command C to copy, go over here to cell C1, and let's bring up that piece special dialog box and hit control command V. And I just want the format for now. Hard to see, but it does bring over that format. You can see the border is there. You can also see that this is still active on the clipboard by the moving dotted lines, which always remind me of ants marching in a row. And that's still on the clipboard. So I'm going to hit control command V to bring up the paste special dialog box. And here you can see that column widths is an attribute that I can actually copy. So I can either click that or use W to select it and press enter. And you can see here that that changes the uh, column width of column C to the column width that uh, of the cells that we just copied. So now let's add 2019 data. We're going to have 800 of revenue, 300 of cost of goods sold. Let's copy and paste the formula for gross profit using command C and command V. 
Operating costs are 35, non-operating costs are 15, and again, copy and paste the net profit formula.